Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I finally have a lookbook video for you. <laughs> okay, so we are in May now. I have been, let's see, what are we? What day is today? Today is the 6th of May. I'm filming this the day before you're actually seeing this one. And um, I've been wearing my new spring capsule so far um, exclusively. I think that that's not going to be a problem at all. Um, I haven't even repeated anything yet, so that's exciting. <laughs> but anyway, I decided, um, so I have everything made up, including my Heather blazer. I got my Heather blazer made up this week. It's very, very exciting. Loving it. Um, but I thought that I would divide the lookbook up into two separate videos just so it's not completely overwhelming. I made a lot more stuff than I thought I was going to make. So, um, you know, whatever. So today I'm going to go through the bottoms that I have made specifically for my spring capsule. I mean, my wardrobe period going forward. But the newer things. Um, and some you've already seen, but we're just going to kind of touch on them. They were not in the other video. Oh, and I left my paper over there. Dang it. Um, so we're going to do bottoms and then one pieces. So I have a um, overalls to show you and also a dress that you haven't seen yet. So that's going to be today. And then on Tuesday, I'm going to show you the tops and toppers. I have a cardigan and a blazer that I'm going to show you um, in addition to the tops that I made on Tuesday. So just to kind of, you know, make this video not be incredibly long. But before we get started, okay, I want to talk lipstick again. <laughs> I love that you guys are in this with me when it's lipstick. So it's so hard to buy lipstick right now because you can't try anything on in any stores. Um, so I've been relying on the online, um, you know, try it on feature where it like it takes a picture of your face and you can try on the different shades, which totally depends on like your lighting, like what room you're in to even determine like what you kind of like. But Okay, but I wanted some things for summer. So last uh, last video, I guess on Tuesday, I was wearing, I think, I was wearing my new MAC uh, Lady Danger, the matte lipstick, which I love. I love their matte lipstick. Um, it was replacing my So Showed um, that I lost. They no longer make the color. Anyway, <laughs> I love that matte lipstick, but um, I don't, I don't know. I wanted something a little lighter and a little glossier, a little more, um, uh, shiny, I guess, for the warmer weather. I just kind of like that a little bit more. So usually my matte lipsticks kind of go away until the cooler weather. So the Lady Danger will probably come back out again and play, you know, in the fall, along with a couple of the other shades that I really like. Um, anyway, so I wanted a couple of summer shades. So I still wanted a bold lip. So what I've got on today, and I think this is a new formula, I think, because I think when I ordered this, it said, you know, it hadn't been released yet, or maybe it was just back ordered. Now I can't remember. But anyway, this is the MAC Love Me Liquid Lip Color. Um, now that I'm second guessing myself if it was new or not, but this one was back ordered with my order. And I've got it on my lips right now, and this is the color Yeah, I'm Fancy. Um, and I love it. It's a real warm red. I think this is going to be a fantastic pop of color, and it's a liquid. So it goes on a little easier. It's a little, um, well, it's not matte, so it's a little, um, but it's not like super glossy either. You know, not super shiny. Anyway, I really like it. So I think this is going to be a great pop of color for summer. And then I also got their um, Luster lipstick, which was, I think it was called a light coverage or buildable, but... I don't know. It didn't come in, in really any bright colors, so it's a little more transparent. And I bought this one in this color C Sheer. And I can't decide, see next to my skin tone, if it's got too much pink on it. I'll wear this for another video, um, and you guys can tell me what you think. But anyway, those are the two new lipsticks, in addition to my matte lipstick that I had on last time. But I got three new lipsticks, and these are the other two. So I'll do the C Sheer. Um, maybe the next, well, I'm filming today's and Tuesday's video today, so maybe next week, Friday. <laughs> I'll try this one on. You guys can tell me what you think. But anyway, this is the uh, Love Me Liquid lip color from MAC. Really like it. Okay, that aside. All right, let's talk patterns. Okay, you have seen most of these in other videos now since, you know, I, I did my plans for you. So we're going to go through those quicker and I will tag, I think I can tag all of the videos. I'll put a pop up a card where you can go see the video if you want more information about that specific pattern. Um, Cause I don't think, I think they only allow me to do that five times in a video, but I don't think I should have more than five. So we should be good. Okay. So, um, and at the end of the video, I'll pop, um, 
um, the pictures of the pants that you've already seen that were already in my wardrobe that I just put in. So the same thing that you saw last time, but just then you can see all of my bottoms and all of my one pieces for this little spring capsule. All right, the first thing, because it's on the top, are my Upland trousers. And of course I'll put um, video of me actually in these. Um, I'm gonna put everything with that same sherbet t-shirt because that's what I had on for the other pants. I will probably not wear that t-shirt with these pants. I say that, I've not actually tried them on together so maybe the color I won't bother me as much. But I think the color is just enough different between these pants and, the, um, and that t-shirt. I probably won't wear those two together, which is fine. I have a lot of other tops I can wear with these pants. Um, but these are the Upland Trousers by Itch to Stitch. It's a new pattern. I did the pattern test for them. It's just your standard pair of chino um, type pants. They sit at my natural waist. They have a nice little welt pocket in the back. Um, side, you know, side, slash pockets. And um, no waistband. They are faced. They have no waistband. They just have a facing to finish off the top. But they do sit at my natural waist. They have a zip fly. Um you know, just kind of a straight, wider leg all the way down. Hopefully you're seeing that. I've talked about this at length when this pattern was um, released, so I'll pop a video up to that if you wanna hear more about the making of this pattern. Um, I'm also gonna leave links down below of uh, the patterns and also fabric if it's still available. Um, and things that are affiliate links, I will mark affiliate, just so you know. That just means I make a small commission off um, anything that gets sold from those links. No cost to the consumer, just to the, good gracious, just to the uh, person selling. So anyway, all right, so those are my first pair of pants. I am loving those so far. I really, really am loving those. <laughs> I used a stretch cotton 12 from Minerva for those, and um, yeah, they've been, I've been wearing those a ton. They're just such a bright spring color. The other pants, let's, Let's go through things that you've already kind of seen, and then we'll go through the bottoms that I haven't talked about. Okay, next up, um, my Philippa, Philippa jeans. You guys um, saw this in the other video, because I kind of forgot I hadn't shown it to you all yet. Um, these were uh, plans in uh, my spring module plans that I put up. I love these. I used a selvage denim. Let me roll up the leg the selvage denim um, that has the red along the selvage, and so I, I roll these because I think it looks really good. This is a straight leg jean from Anna Allen Clothing. Um, I did the Dawn, no. I did her back pocket pieces for the back on these. There's no front pockets on these, which at first I'm like, is that gonna really bother me? But it gives such a streamlined look, I don't really think it bothers me. So yeah. So very, very happy. Um, my belt loops, I went ahead and used that selvage on one side when I was folding them over. I <laughs> just love that little pop of red. It's just so much fun. Okay, now, the big oopsie boo-boo with these. I used, from my stash, I was low on jean zippers that were long enough. I have a whole bunch of like, um, probably seven inch jean zippers, and I needed something like, this is a pretty high rise, so I needed I don't know, like at least a nine probably. So I was waiting on zippers, got impatient, so I just used a metal zipper from my stash, a vintage one. <sighs> I'll show you what happened. And I've lost two teeth off the zipper. Now, it'll still zip up, but not easily. And I try, see, right now, I try not to go past that point. I guess I could put a, um, a thread stopper there so I don't ever, and I can get them on and off without going past that point pretty easily. Uh, but occasionally like, well, I'll be out and about and I'll go to the bathroom and if it goes below that point, sometimes I have a hard time getting it back up over that point. <laughs> and I put like candle wax on it just to help the zipper slide a little better. And that did help, but uh, I think I need to replace the zipper in these. And I just don't wanna do that. Replacing a zipper and a fly is such a pain in the rear end. I mean, I used to do it rather frequently when I did alterations and stuff like that. So, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so bummed. I love these, though, so, I mean, I think I will. It'll, it's just going to be more of a how many times am I going to get stuck in a public restroom and not be able to get my pants zipped up before I finally bite the bullet and fix the zipper is what it's going to be, you know? Because I don't like to make my life too easy. Um, yeah, so... 
but I love that pattern. It's, um, I'm so glad that I made it. And it's so much fun with the selvage denim. So it has straight side seams, which allows you to use that selvage denim and you get the shape in the waist by um, darts in the back actually. And so, um, yeah. I just really love the way that those sewed up and uh, yeah, just a little different jean pattern and I'm really loving those in that. Um, it's not white, white. He had a white denim. I got that from Metro Textiles and he had a white and he had an off white and that's the off white. All right, my next bottoms and you have not seen these at all. These are the Chi Town Chinos from um, uh, Alina Design Company. And uh, this is the expansion pack. So the original pattern is a pair of shorts and a skirt. And then she did an expansion pattern um, for Bermuda shorts, which was like expansion pack one or two. And then she did an expansion pack to turn them into pants. Um, these are a skinnier leg. I'm gonna talk about these a little bit in relation to the uplands that I just showed you because they are similar. So this one has a more tapered leg, skinnier leg. I loved them cuffed. I use this cotton twill from Minerva, absolutely love it. So this pant, pant pattern has a lower rise. So um, this probably sits two inches below my belly button, which I talked about before in another video, but technically because I have a very short torso and longer legs, all in comparison to my other body parts, um, really a lower rise, and I say lower rise, I don't mean like Britney Spears circa 2003 low rise, <laughs> but although I totally did that in 2003, but. Anyway, um, 2000, um, I'm talking like a uh, mid rise usually, like maybe one and a half, two inches below my belly button. Um, it will make my torso look a little bit longer. So that is a good proportion for me to play with, but I do also really like natural waist, like a higher waist where it sits at my natural waist look as well. It makes my torso look a lot shorter, but it does make my legs look long, which, um, you know, I'm 5'2", so anytime I can make my legs look long, I'm in. <laughs> So it just kind of depends on what I'm wanting to like play with for the day. So this is definitely a lower rise. Um, it does not have a button. Get, you could put a button, but it does, um, has a, like a skirt hook and eye. Um, it's got belt loops. The up ones don't have belt loops actually. I mean, you could add them, be very easy. But this one does have belt loops that include with the pattern. It has the side slash pockets like the up ones, and it also uses, um, Welt pockets, although because this is the expansion, the expansion pattern that comes with the pants has the back welt pockets and with the instructions. Um, the original pattern that you have to have in order to use the expansion pattern uh, has two different patch pocket options for the shorts. And actually, I've made this pattern twice now. I've made the shorts and I've made now these pants. In the shorts, I, I had the expansion pack when I bought, when I made the shorts, and so I used the welt pockets for those as well. So I've actually never used the patch pockets that come with the pattern, but I love the welt pockets. Um, yeah, they're very similar to the uplands. They don't have the little loop like the uplands. You just put the buttonhole down here in the bottom. Um, I just used some cotton lawn for my stash for the pocketing. And then I finished off my uh, seam or my, uh, the face, this also has a faced waistband obviously. Um, and I finished it off with some bias binding that was in my stash just for a little fun pop of color. It has a zipper fly. Um, I used just a nylon one, just a regular nylon coil zipper because that's what I had in my stash and that works really great. Um, I think I shortened the legs by one inch on these. I sewed a, oh, I forgot to say, on the um, Philippa, Philippa jeans, I sewed a straight size eight and I think I linked, or shortened the legs by one inch, anticipating shrinkage when I wash and dry. Um, these I sewed up, oh geez, what did a size did I sew up? I can't whatever fit my hip measurement and I didn't do any grading. I'm sorry, I can't remember. Um, my hip measurement's 38.5 and I think I sewed the size that was the closest to that um, and I did not adjust for the waist because these are lower rise and I'm so straight through my hips, I didn't adjust for the waist at all and they fit great. Actually, they're a little big in the waist part. Um, I say waist because they sit below my waist. Typically I have to go from a larger size in my waist to a smaller size in my hips because I'm so straight. But um, this one I just did the straight size because it sits below my waist and um, they're just a little bit big. But I just wear a belt with them and they're fine. 
And actually I just washed them so they may be fitting me much better. Um, I shortened the legs by an inch on this pattern. I love them cuffed. I think that's so cute. This cotton twill, and I think this is a Mind the Maker cotton twill from Minerva, is phenomenal. It's a little heavier weight, but it holds, I mean, it, it's sewed like a dream because it's cotton, but it holds its shape so well, and it feels like a legitimate pair of khaki pants, like something I would buy at any ready-to-wear store. I, I really love these. And again, I, I like the silhouette um, with the lower rise on my body too, just to kind of play around. But they are similar to the uplands. A little bit, um, someone asked me what the difference was, and I would say a narrower leg, a little bit, it's a more tapered leg where the uplands are a little more um, wider. It's a wider leg, but not like super wide leg. But yeah, a little wider leg on the uplands, and then the uplands sit at your natural waist, whereas these sit um, a couple inches below. But not super low. <laughs> so yes, love those. In fact, I'm very surprised how much I've been wearing those pants. Um, who knew that I needed a pair of khaki pants in my wardrobe, but that has been the beauty of this uh, spring capsule wardrobe that I bought. It's just been, yeah, so helpful. Um, her master classes, everything. I'm just, yeah, over the moon with that. All right, the final bottom only that I made was my um, Danube skirt from Itch to Stitch. So um, I wanted a jean skirt and so I made this one up and this is the same denim, this light denim that I used for my Megan Nielsen uh, Dawn jeans, my full length ones. And um, I just love the color. So I had enough to make the skirt. So I made the skirt. I made a straight size six on this um, because my hips fit into her six. I sh yeah, and I normally I'll grade out to an eight on the waist, but I wanted this to sit at my waist and not, you know, because it's a skirt, so you don't want it to, you know, if pants come down a little bit, with my uplands, I did a six and then graded up to a waist, an eight at the waist. Um, but with skirts, like, you don't want that to have any wiggle room. Like, you want that to really anchor at your waist, so I just did a straight size six. And it feels fine. Um, let's see, what else? Can I say about this? I shortened the skirt itself by two inches. So this hits right at my knee, um, which is kind of what I was going for. Um, I did just your regular jeans top stitching. Um, there's a zipper, jean zipper in there. Um, put in some rivets, like jean rivets that I had in my stash. Sorry, it was just washed. It needs to be ironed a little bit or steamed or something. Um, I used some fabric from my stash. Oh, I used the same bias trim as my Triton chinos, just because I had that to finish off the inside of the waistband for fun. Some fun colored pockets there. Yeah, just your straight denim skirt. I mean, the instructions, this is a really simple make. It went together really quickly. Um, it's got these side slits here on the side that you top stitch, and she has you finish it off with this beautiful miter. Um, and that's all in the instructions. So beautiful miter on either side. So that's how you're able to walk by the slits on the side. And yeah, I mean, not much else to say. It's just a really good jean skirt. So glad to have that in my wardrobe. It was something that my wardrobe was missing as well. Just like a, a basic. This is the khaki pants. Who knew? <laughs> just, yeah, I needed those. So very, very good. Okay, for my one pieces, the first one, and you guys have already seen this, so I won't say too much about it, but the first one is my Concord, um, Cashmere at Concord t-shirt that I lengthened into the dress. I've had so many requests to show how I did this, so in between the current sew along and the Monty that'll be the next sew along, I'll do a tutorial and just show you guys how I um, hacked this pattern to make it into a dress, if that is of interest to you. So uh, yes, this is my knit dress in this wonderful navy and white stripe knit from Minerva been wearing this one. Well, actually, I haven't worn this one a ton yet because it hasn't been warm enough. <laughs> um, we are in the upper 50s today, tomorrow, and Saturday. So um, anyway, eventually, probably at the end of the month, this is going to be starting to be more in my rotation. Same with the skirt. Um, I just don't like to have bare legs when it's um, the temperature is that low. So yes, I think by the end of the month, both of those will be in heavy rotation. But I love this. And it has been worn. We did have a couple of warmer days that I was able to sneak that in there and love it. So easy to wear. Okay, and then my last piece to show you guys are my Burnside bibs from So How 7. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so in love with these. I love these so much. They are overalls, 
but very minimalist and streamlined. And I've seen people wax poetic about these um, online a ton, and I just, I, and I keep meaning to make them up and just haven't, and, um, and kicking myself. And my seam is pulling away there. That's weird. Hmm. It's like I didn't back stitch or something. Okay, well I need to fix that. So just noticing that, um, I've worn these a couple of times. They're so cute. So I used, a, I think a four ounce denim from, or five ounce, four or five ounce denim from Minerva for these. It's perfect. I've seen a lot of people make these up in linen. Gorgeous. Um, there are two views for the back. It gets, um, one of the views has a much fuller uh, back that you gather in. So the way that the straps tie, is that I just have them straight and then they go through these belt loops in the back and kind of gather up the back a little bit. And there's two different back views. There's one where you gather up a lot to get it to fit. And then there's one that has darts on the back so you're not gathering it as much to fit. That's the, the view I chose, the one with the darts. I can't remember if it's view one or two. And that view comes with a, an invisible zipper in the side to get it on and off because obviously the back is um, a little bit smaller. So cute. It's got um, patch pockets in the back. It's hard to show on a hanger, hopefully showing it in person. And then these wonderful little um, curved patch pockets that are in the front. It's cropped. Um, I sewed, I can't remember what size. I feel like an eight or a 10. Um, I sewed the size to fit my hip measurement because there's a lot of give in the waist with the gathering, um, with the ties. So I knew that that wouldn't be too big of a deal. So I sewed, um, again, I'm a 38.5 inch hip. So whatever size was closest to that and love it. And I think I, sh I shortened the leg by, I think they shortened the leg by just one inch on this anticipating shrink when I wash it. So, because I keep, my pants keep shrinking, even though I'm washing my yardage multiple times pre-washing, I still am getting so much shrinkage. Um, and my and cotton, you know, like denim and twills and stuff. So anyway, um, and linen, <laughs> um, let's see. But now I'm thinking, I think I shortened it, the pattern by an inch, but then I went in and tried them on and shortened it by another inch. I think that's what I did before I hemmed it because it's very straight to the bottom. So it's easy to hem or cut off some more when you're, um, sewing it. So I just surged the edges and then turned it under the inch and a half for the hem. Um, love this so much. It's just such a fun pattern. Now the invisible zipper on the side does make getting in, I have a hard time with side zippers. I don't know if it's cause I have short arms and big boobs. So like getting my arm like across is an issue, but I have a hard time with side zippers. And obviously this has an invisible side zipper. Um, so I do have to like really contort myself when I go to the bathroom to get the zipper up and down. Uh, but I was thinking if, <laughs> what it would be like maybe to put the way that this is finished off in the back you have like a, a back facing this is the back here this is back facing if you could put elastic just through the back from side seam to side seam uh and maybe you could do the view without the zipper or yeah that would probably be the best because the i think the darts just make it too tight to get on and have the elastic do all the work so then you still have your, I think it would gather it really nicely and be really easy to get on and off. And I think that um, you wouldn't have to mess with the fastening. And I think that you could easily just put the straps the way you wanted them, tie them, and then be good to go for a while. Um, and then still be able to get things on and off super easily. So I'm tempted to try that. I definitely would like another pair. They're so, these are so cute just so flattering. So I've been tying mine in the back, but I've seen a lot of people that, you know, one of the ways is to wrap it around to the front to tie it, which also looks super cute. Um, and is much easier obviously to do when you're by yourself. So those are the Burnside bibs. I'm so glad I made those. So late to the party on that, but man, so cute. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Those are the rest of my bottoms and my one pieces for my wardrobe. Um, here at the end, I'll put a little montage of everything. So you can see all of my bottoms and, um, dresses. So yeah. 
there you have it. Um, okay, Tuesday I'll be back with my tops and toppers, um, blazer and cardigan, and then, uh, yeah, then we'll be done with my spring wardrobe. Uh, again, if you want to see everything in action and styled up differently, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm wearing and posting things from Me Made May every single day, or you can just wait in the first video of June, I think. Um, I'll put a montage and show you all 31 outfits that I wore throughout the month of May, so you can see how things I'm mixing and matching things and wearing things. So there you have it, guys. That's all I've got for you for today. Um, I'll be back on Sunday with another um, sew along video. Let's see, I think this is part seven that comes up on Sunday. And then we have two more weeks, and then I will do the Cashmere at uh, Concord hack, how I made that into a dress. And then we will be starting the Style Arc Monty dress. So it's very exciting. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great weekend and can get some sewing in, uh, maybe enjoy some weather. And I will see you all again on Sunday. Bye.